Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be bringing you my makeup kit. Like what's in my makeup kit? How about that? Just so you know, I do have dirty brushes in there and I will show you like what I do with them and everything. Like they're separated from the clean brushes and stuff. But I just had prom this past weekend and I have a wedding coming up. So I'm just going to kind of reorganize it as I go. So that way it's all ready minus the brushes. So I hope this comes out okay. I'm going to like put my case and stuff here and then stand off to the side and like talk about stuff. So I hope this works out. Like what's in my makeup kit? Keep on watching. Okay, here is a quick kind of view of part of my kit. My Zuka bag is down here. I will show it to you when I get ready to get into it. But like this is everything that I brought with me, including the Zuka bag that has five bags in it and I think a few other little bags. But this is an overview of my makeup kit. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna try to see how this works. I'm zoomed in so I can step closer here. But I did not show you these at first. These two little containers, little trays here. I both I purchased two separate times, like two different years, from my local Dollar Tree. This one I did get recently, and then this one I've had forever. And it's yeah, it's got its wear and tear. But I used these this past weekend for prom because I was limited space, and this also helped me stay organized. I was able to remove stuff out of each of the bags and put in and kind of organize it. One of them held palettes, and then the other held like foundations and stuff. So here are those. Just a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you a few different things here. This little caddy I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. It has one long side here and then two shorter sides on the side to divide. So for this was, these are all the leftover clean brushes that I have that I did not end up using for prom. I have, I'll show you where my dirty ones are here in a second. Now, I have all types of brushes in here, and up here I had organized like my foundation, powder, concealer, blush, bronzer, highlight, whatever fit up here is what I had, and I had seven girls for makeup, I think. Six or seven girls and a couple hair. And then, turning it around up here on this side, I had all of my eye brushes, lip brushes, like anything you can think of I had right here. Now in this little slot, I had my short brushes, like super, like travel size, I just dropped one brushes that were in this smaller, the smaller space, also with sponges I had right there. I did have these in my kit, these are just Q-tips from the Dollar Tree, if I needed a spot clean up or anything, but I had these in here to help hold these ones up so they did not fall. But this is what the clean brushes were in, and you, typically I always just have my brushes kind of laid out, but I was very limited space and this came in so handy so, so, so much. I will probably start taking this with me for everything because it was truly amazing and it saved up space. Onto my dirty brushes, this little Calvin Klein bag, I think Andrew got with purchase of cologne or something, but it's a good size bag. And this is where I put all of my dirty brushes. So this will be getting washed this week. I think tons, seven faces worth. I did make sure I had enough brushes, like the powder, all the bigger brushes, I made sure I had enough for each individual person because I did not want to spread germs and using the same brushes on other people. The eye brushes are able, you're able to sanitize if you need to in between, but I am lucky enough to have enough for the most part to go around to all, like seven faces. So in a couple weeks I have a wedding that is, I think eight faces I have to do. So that'll be fun. That's why you can never have too many brushes. Right here, this was an old card collection type of container. And I have ran it through the dishwasher and everything. It's just got some wear and tear to it. Here is just an overview. So you can kind of see what's all in here briefly. I have my swatch thing. 
my Inglot Gel Liner number 77. It is amazing. Let me set this down here and kind of just talk through what I have here. I have e.l.f. products, or not e.l.f., I have brow, okay, how about this? Instead of going through absolutely everything, I have brow product, products right here in this first one. I have some primers and makeup remover and then my scissors to cut lashes and anything that you need cut. I have face primers and a little sample of, um, oops, made, I have a sample of Makeup Geeks Afterglow. It's amazing. Just different primers in there. And then this one over here, I have more makeup remover. I have tape and eyelash curler and some hair clips to clip hair back if need be. These are lip brushes. Setting spray, my Duraline. This stuff is amazing. I have lash glue, eyeliner, brow, um, eyebrow tweezers, green concealer. I don't know why that's in here. See this? Like, I had to miss, I misplaced a few different things. So I'm kind of pulling out and rearranging as I go. I have like a lip primer, eye primer, tape, glitter glue, darker foundation samples, just in case, because I don't have like super dark. If by chance I have a darker skin client with a different, like a darker skin tone, but I'm gonna have some razors for my razor. I should have left at work, but I didn't think about it. But that is all in this container. My next container, before I show you my Zuka kit, this is the Mary Kay traveling case, makeup case. Try to, it has one, two, three, four compartments and you can hang it on a door or something like that. Very awesome. So I'm gonna hang this up back here on my stand, maybe if it doesn't knock it over because it's pretty heavy. And kind of go through real quick what's in each one of these. My top one right here, I cannot believe I didn't lose anything out of here because it's unzipped. I have a couple mascaras, always have waterproof because you never know if someone's gonna cry or just, you never know. And then I have lip liners, eyeliners, all that is in here. This next one I have, hopefully you can see it, I have some face powders. And that's really all that's in here. Oh gosh, I about fell over. Face powders, bronzers, different ones are in here and then this one right here be, I'm not gonna take it off because this is all weighing down my stand here but this one this bag the third one it has liquid lipsticks cream lipsticks and it and a few lip glosses what's funny is for prom I thought I had everything all ready to go and I realized I did not pack one single regular lipstick but that's really not in right now so it worked out well having all of my liquid lipsticks all right last but not least in this pouch are the highlighters individual highlighters bronzers blushes no bronzers i think yeah this is a bronzer I have a couple bronzers some blushes and some highlighters all in this last bag this saves up so much space and you just roll it up Velcro it, and there you go. Like, save so much space. Love this. Thank you, girlfriend. This right here is my Zuka bag. And it's kind of blurry and everything. This little pouch comes down and like closes it, says Zuka. And then I have the little cushion where someone could sit on it if need be. But it has wheels, it's travel friendly, it's nice. I did get my Zuka case from IMATS, New York. Okay, so this is the little cushion part. I'm just gonna zip it and let's unzip it and let's get started. Hey! Okay. These two items are not in bags in there. This it has tons of different lipsticks inside of it. So I forgot, I did take this one. This just has different lipsticks 
in the jars. And this bag has samples of Mary Kay lipsticks that the girls could take if they needed something to touch up on the go. Something so they can just keep right on them, pop something on, and so be it. All right, here's the first bag, and I promise these are clean. They just, they, I don't know, just wear and tear to them, but these are awesome bags, especially to makeup on the go when I'm doing it in the car. Just grab it all and go. Here are some makeup wipes that I keep in my kit. This little Rubbermaid container I put to use. I was running low on my spoolies for mascara and brows and stuff, so I stored them in here. I picked up a huge thing of them from Amazon for a decent amount, like decent price. And then I have my rubbing alcohol spray to sanitize. This used to be a sprayer from what you might call it, Scandinavia, and I just taped it up so everyone could see that it was rubbing alcohol, not the setting spray. You don't want to be drying out your, fa your face. Here are some lashes that I have, just all different kinds. Come on, focus. I try to keep an assortment of lashes because you never know what kind someone are, is wanting. I had some brave girls for prom now. Here's an overview of this bag. I'm just going to kind of go over it. I don't think there's a glare according to my viewfinder. There I have a few face powders in here, concealers, liquid highlighters, moisturizer, setting sprays, primer sprays, and lots of foundation. I have Mary Kay, Maybelline, Rimmel, not Rimmel, Revlon. Just an assortment of different stuff. This bag I need to be careful with so no glitter spills anywhere. This is pigments, loose pigments, glitters, creams, amazingness, like all the single shadows, glitters and stuff. One of my all-time favorites. Amazing. I have sugar pill inglot, eye candy, lit, just some random from Halloween that I had gotten, ColourPop, Wet n Wild, Naked Cosmetics. Lime Crime, if I said that or not. Makeup Geek. A little bit of everything. This is awesome. I love this one. Coming to the last two bags. They are makeup palettes. And oftentimes it switches depending on what I'm doing. Because I had prom. I didn't know all of the dresses that they were wearing. Like the colors and stuff or what type of styles they wanted. So I had brought two things of palettes. Typically I only have one but I just liked having a variety of palettes. And I used actually quite a bit. For this last time and for this weekend, I packed Makeup Geek palettes, Manny, and just the Starter Z palette kit, my Lime Crime Venus palette, the Nubian, and then the Holiday Tarte Blush Palette. This was my go-to. Like This is about the only blush I ended up using on everybody. I have this BH Cosmetics right here for blush. And then my NYX Contour Palette. All right, now more eyeshadow palettes that I packed. I took both of my Lorac Pros and I ended up using silver a lot in the Lorac, the Lorac Pro 2. Yeah, this palette, this gray one. This is my Morphe Brow Palette. Love this, comes in so handy. And I can mix and match shades and create custom brow colors. Kat Von D, Shade and Light. I brought Urban K one, two, three, and Smoky. And then I brought my Jaclyn Hills Morphe palette. If you see the J right here, JH. Oh, it's gonna go out of focus, darn it. Well, this, I brought my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the Smoky, and I know I did go out of order. There's a three, two, 
and one. <clears throat> Shade and light again. And those are just the palettes that I ended up taking for the last weekend and most likely I don't think I will be changing out any for this upcoming weekend. I do have, I'll probably only be doing three girls. There's six girls that are supposed to be coming but for hair and makeup and I'm supposed to I think do three and she, the other girl does three. But yes, I hope you like this. If you have any questions about the kit down below or if you think maybe I forgot something in my kit, let me know down in the comments below. And I would love to start interacting with you guys and everything so leave any comments, any questions and stuff down below. Hit that, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And you will see me in your next bit, or see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful.